Why can't we be honest and take responsibility for what we've done and say, I'm going to let you be the king and the sovereign in my life. And I will follow the Messiah whom you sent. You got to go back to John 4, 5, and 6 to understand the last part there in the harvest and the second and gathering of the exiles. Yahweh created through his word, the Memra, Adam. Adam, his role was to do what? To bring the world into the knowledge of the creator. To bring the world into submission to the king. Get it? To bring the world to submit and to obey and to follow the commandments and the statutes. He failed. He tried it with Noah. Know what happens? He did it with Abraham. He knew Abraham would teach his children the commandments. He gave them a land. He gave them seed. Get it? That's why we are called the scattered. Yes, real. We will sow. That's why everything is in the agricultural term. The word dispersion, the root word actually means sown. That's why the whole world becomes a what? A farm. In agricultural terms, you are the seed. The seed of Abraham, but also the seed of the ground. Get it? And now he's going to do the regathering again. That's why he speaks in that language all through the through the whole um, through the whole context of the parables. He gives them a grant. He gives them a name. He gives them a bride. Yeshua. He is given the name in the book of Revelation. We are serving the true King of creation. How many of you are willing to look into the perfect order of our heavenly King and to wait for the coming of Messiah? And when Messiah is come on the white horse and when he's riding on the clouds of heaven, we will see. We will be vindicated. The the world will have to bow down to honor the one whom he sent, the one that he gave the authority to bring all the nations to submit to the power of the Creator. That's the God I serve. Well, now I know that Yahweh is king, he will be king, and he will forever be king. And when Messiah comes, in the book of Zechariah says that he will put his feet on the Mount of Olives, and then all the nations that don't come out, do not come up to Jerusalem on the Feast of Tabernacles, you know why the feasts are so important? Because it's the time when you bring your tribute to your king. So on the feast, it's not about theology, it's not about fear. The feast is about rejoicing in your king and bringing the tributes to the Almighty. Yahweh bless you and keep you. Thank you.